Okay, so we're changing up the... We not, actually don't really do vlogs, we do build videos, but we're gonna change it up and do kind of a vlog style day in the life of building a van today. And we're both working on the van. I usually end up taking a day off, a day on, because I have school and computer stuff that I need to do. But right now we're headed to Lowe's, and then let's cross our fingers, we don't have to go Home Depot too. This is the rat, and so now the truck is called the rat rod, and it watches over the truck. Destination of water. You know Liz is serious when you Christmas makes me so excited. It makes me so happy. You're so pissed. <laughs> Still September, and they already ditched half the Halloween stuff. That's so crazy. Kind of a brown, kind of a blue. Yeah. It's a good color. For the inside of the cabinets and maybe the, the bottom. Off here. Yeah, what the hell? Do you see a button? Maybe they're just worked out. Options, option, options. This is the goal. So I think I need to order these other ones. Oh, so we're not gonna be able to do it today? No, I think I could probably just do it with the tank in. Well, I think that's what we're gonna have to do. So like we actually the switched the color. This is just for the inside so of the cabinet. It's like a three second decision. Allie it's came, less green. Ali came with the color and was like, how about this color? And I was like, yeah, let's do it. We, can, we did it. So of course we didn't get everything we needed there. And we were gonna get a ton of plumbing stuff, but Lance decided against it because we have to order the parts. So now we're gonna go Home Depot. That is so cool. Huh. It's like a truck. Electric soldering. Get out. It's time for me to put the tire on the van. No, that's a boat. On the boat? <laughs> <laughs> that's a boat. Uh, and then we'll get to work. We got some cool colors. This is one of them. If you can see it next to my skin color. Um, what is the other one? And this has like a pink hue. Yeah, I need to put it next to my skin color. It's right here. See? So these are for the metal. Oh my God, Hank is going. And then we got some paint as well for the interior of the cabinets. And we got some colors for the exterior, but hey. we're not getting there yet. That end. All right, we made it back. We got some paints to test out on the metal trim like stuff that's in the van. And then we also got interior cabinet and drawer paint. And I can start kind of working on this in some of the spots that we have done. Lance is going to finish up welding the bed and then I can paint the surface area on the floor there. We can work on insulating and we're just gonna keep checking some tasks off the list. All right. Two days ago I finished up the cement wall. We probably will be continuing it but a little bit more welding needs to happen to that pop out. But you can see here the countertops in. I don't think I showed you guys this. We got this alcohol dispenser. It's gonna go right here. This is actually gonna be a bar area, so we're gonna be building a uh, like a shelf hold-in thing for bottles and that type of stuff. Uh, but it actually goes all the way up. And the metal trim I was talking about is this. This is actually providing more structure to the van, but we decided to keep it showing. And then we have some base of some cabinets going in. I can paint these drawers and stuff as well. Some trim is happening here. This is gonna be a shelf below this window. We can put plants or whatever you want to in there. But that's how it's going. It's looking really, really good. The water tank still needs welded up and in. The solar stuff is decently mounted for now, but this back area is what we need to rust prevent, seal, sound deaden, and insulate. What the this fuck is that paint? Bear paint looks Why completely different on the lid. What? Well, how does how does that even? Well, that's disappointing. That's like a green sparkle. <laughs> like, I know it said nickel, but at least have the lid represent that. This paint's pretty far off, too. But I actually don't mind this paint too much. Okay, so I'm cutting out some wood for walls that are ready to be finished up, and it looks like Lance is starting to 
take down the transmission, probably because he's waiting for a paint to dry before he welds. See that bucket up front mm -hmm. with that shit dripping in it? Yeah. Well, just um, if stuff starts dripping not in it, just move the bucket so it drips in it. Yeah, these rocks do hurt really bad. Yeah. Do you have a plan on where it's going to go once it's down? Is it going to drop? Well, it's on straps. Oh, okay. This is like an AutoZone commercial. <laughs> So it looks like right at the jug. <laughs> I'm going to go a little on one side. Yeah, that's fine. A little more on the other side. Yeah, we're just bringing it all the way down. Sorry. Well, are we good? Mm-hmm. Just keep coming. Oh, the bucket. Okay, Shit. turn it to the right and lift it up. Can you get the bucket out the way? Yeah. Okay. Can you go get that cart that the uh, joiner usually sits on? Yeah. It's pouring. It's pouring yeah, everywhere. Yeah. Good thing you have the tarp. We just need to try not to rip it right there. I don't know how that's right? going to happen. And that's exactly the way we need to go yeah. to get it out. <laughs> I don't think this jack's going to do it. I think we're going to need a different jack. We'll see. Go on. Keep going. Okay, now that that just happened, uh, let me show you what I've been working on. I mean, really all you can see is a dark panel, 
but that's better than ugly insulation or fiberglass roof. So I have the wall panel for behind here put up. I have that one put up. I think I'm gonna work on the divider on this wall, this divider here, and then we're also gonna have a shelf across, and that's something I can work on. I did forget though, we actually have a light there and a light there that we haven't ran wires to yet. So I only threw two screws in there, and I'll have Lance run the wires here in a second, but it's looking good. And I believe Lance is trying to drain the rest of the oil by taking the front off. Pretty much. We shifted all the transmission and all the parts and just like wheeled it away and I think some stuff got messed up because I uh, could never figure out why I wouldn't shift into second gear so okay I got one more cabinet in dude the hard things about vans nothing is square nothing is straight like this piece right here was decently difficult pretty fun actually so that's it I can get that painted tomorrow and just continue working on shelves and closing off the spaces but yeah that's what a day of van build looks like when both of us are on the van and I hope you enjoyed obviously you can see 50% of it, it's a shit show and the other 50% is still somewhat of a shit show it'll look good at the end of the day so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one